Hey everyone, Pop Daddy here, and uh, welcome to March. Um, March is the uh, month where I become a father, and I we, we get a child, and uh, I'm uh, gearing up for that. I'm getting psyched. I'm uh, getting nervous, and um, so I'm, I thought I'd uh, got a little model here, and uh, I'm gonna put that together while I let, I talk to you a little bit. Uh, but first, um, I'd like to let you know that the baby is currently at 37 weeks. Uh, we are at three weeks to go. So baby is currently the size of a Zach Morris phone uh, from Saved by the Bell. Um, funny thing, on the uh, website with where I uh, track the pregnancy, uh, there's geeky, there's manly, there's cravings, which I'll, while I'll say why I say a large bag of potato chips or things like that. And for Geeky, it said a Zach Morris phone. And for Manly, it said an 80s phone. So it's the same phone, just with the different names. So uh, I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, so yeah, I got a little model here. I'm not going to show you the parts just yet, because that might ruin the surprise of what you think it might be. But I'm going to lay it all out and get started. Uh-oh, I came back. Okay, so I um, got it. So baby's three weeks away, and uh, I'm like, oh, well, I'm getting a little bit nervous. You know, I'm sure all fathers have gotten nervous at one point or, or another because when there's a baby coming, and you know, I'm gonna be I'm in charge of another human being. You know, and everyone is always like, oh, you're going to be a great dad. You know, you're going to be a fantastic father. How do, how do they know that? You know, I always, I've always had like a little bit of self-doubt about me, but you know, not a lot, but you know, it's always been there. Like, I mean, like I know my hair sometimes isn't the best and like, I know watching the, these, I think I'll look in the mirror, but then I watch this, I'm like, man, I. I'm overweight. I know I'm overweight. And of course, seeing as most of the videos are me eating, that does not help things. But struggling with terms of, to come to terms with lately, baby will be here soon. And you're just over the moon excited. And I'm psyched I'm going to be a dad and it's something that I'm super happy about I'm super excited about everyone's happy for me and the outpouring of love that's been shown to us has been great I'm I'm really happy about it and it's something that makes me and us really feel the love like I know that you know everyone has felt this way one way or the other and they were expecting kids, even the best dads out there. But, um, you know, you, you do the best, you make the best of it. And, you know, you get so, like, I, I, I'm super psyched, and I can't wait to go on this journey of fatherhood. I'm glad that all of you are coming on this journey with me. I'm super pu pumped for it. Sorry that I'm a little bit of my attention is going towards this instead of uh, talking to you guys, but it's, it's, it's one thing or another, you know, and uh, my ADD isn't really letting me, but I do thank you all for watching the videos, and I, I really appreciate all of you. It's like I love the requests. I love hearing from you guys. I love commenting, seeing you guys comment on stuff, and it just makes me happy. It makes me feel seen, and you know, I can't wait to I'm continue on this journey with all of you. Um, and being a father, there you go. So this is a bit of a rough build, and. I've been saying, I've repeated myself a lot, I'm not, don't have my uh, mind focused all the way on one thing or the other, but, you know, this 
part isn't sticking in, but the rest are, so that's good. This is a fun little build, though. Probably a down. I know that I've got a lot of doubts now, but I know that you know I've got a great wife who's going to be a wonderful mother. I've got a loving support system, and I've got you guys, I, who uh, will also be with me. So a lot of times, it's like you worry about the big, st big stuff or the little stuff. You really shouldn't. Check to make sure the parts all fit before. I, uh, this. <laughs> there we go. We got it. So, one thing that I I'm reminded of, which always gives me a little confidence, is that in the uh, Star Wars Episode 3 book, it was, the novelization of the movie. As you can tell, I'm a bit of a nerd and a pop culture nerd. Um, the character Obi-Wan Kenobi, um, he goes to fight the bad guy, General Grievous, and who's like a four-armed uh, droid that has four lightsabers. And there's a passage in the book that says everyone knew that Obi-Wan was the right person for this job, pretty much. Everyone had confidence in him. Everyone knew he would get the job done. Everyone had faith, like had faith in him, knowing he was the right person for the job. Everyone knew he would get it done. Everyone knew that the outcome of this mission would be him coming out on top. Everyone knew that, except for Obi-Wan. This is a uh, model replica of his lightsaber, which what I've been what I've been doing. That's a pretty cool build. It's all 3D parts and everything, no paint. And um, I think I'll do a good job. And uh, you know, I think I'll do a great job. I may not be the world's best dad. The world's best dad's already alive. And there's this person right here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a friend. I'll see you soon. Peace.